Hello, in this video we're going to look at calculating the GDP deflator. So some background. The GDP deflator is a price index that is used to calculate the average level of prices of the goods and services included in GDP. The formula for calculating the GDP deflator is going to be the nominal GDP divided by the real GDP and then this is all going to be multiplied by 100 we're multiplying it by 100 because we usually like to put index numbers in uh, units of 100. So the GDP deflator is fundamentally going to be used to measure inflation or the inflation rate in the economy. Uh, it's just one of many measures that can be used for that. The GDP deflator will increase when the average level of prices are increasing. That is, the economy is experiencing inflation. And one other thing you should note is that the GDP deflator will always equal 100 in the base year. And so in the next example that we're going to do, you'll, you'll notice that the GDP deflator will be normalized to 100 in the base year. So here again is a formula on top to remind us. And here are some data for the economy uh, from 2015 to 2016. I note here that 2015 has been designated as the base year. Uh, nominal GDP and real GDP are going to be equal in the base year. So if we were to calculate the GDP deflator for that year, nominal divided by real multiplied by 100, we just get 100. This again is an index number. This should not be interpreted as dollars or cents or units of output. It's just an index number. In 2016, we have a uh, nominal GDP coming in at 88,700 and real GDP at 85,000. So once again, nominal GDP divided by real GDP multiplied by 100. And I'm doing a little rounding here. Um, we get 104, 104 for the GDP deflator. Looking at the 2015 GDP deflator and the 2016, the higher number indicates that on average prices rose in this economy over 2016, for the year 2016. And 2017, our final year of data, we calculate the GDP deflator and we get a value here of 115. So once again, the GDP deflator is higher than the previous year, so on average prices rose. So now we're going to take this data on the GDP deflator and we're going to use it to calculate the annual inflation rate. So rewriting our GDP deflator data here in this table. And in this slide we're going to look at how to calculate the inflation rate. Uh, this is just a standard percentage change formula. Uh, so the inflation rate for 2016 will be the GDP deflator in 2016 minus the previous year's GDP deflator of 100. So that's what I got in the numerator. So you can think of it as our ending value minus our starting value, all divided by our starting value. Then to get it out of decimal format, we'll multiply it by 100, and we get an answer here of 4, 4%. So on average, prices rose in this economy uh, 4 percent over the year 2016. To calculate the annual inflation rate for 2017, once again we're going to use this percentage change formula. We start with the ending value, subtract from it the last year's value of 104, so 115 minus 104, and then that's going to be all divided by last year's GDP deflator. Once again multiplying all of that by 100, we get an answer of roughly 10.6%. So prices rose in 2017 at a faster rate than 2016. Um, so that's how you calculate uh, the annual inflation rate. One more problem, and uh, perhaps a, a slightly more complicated problem, uh, is this. So let's suppose in 2018, that an economy has a nominal GDP of 2,000 and the GDP deflator equals 125. What is the value of real GDP in 2018? So 
writing down our GDP deflator formula as nominal GDP divided by real GDP equals 100, we know two out of three things here. We know the GDP deflator, and we know nominal GDP. So I'm just going to substitute those values into our formula. So 125 for the GDP deflator, $2,000 for nominal GDP. And now we got basically one equation and one unknown. So just a little algebra, we're going to solve for real GDP. So multiplying both sides through by real GDP, the variable we're trying to solve for. We get 125 times real GDP equals 200,000. And then finally, dividing through by 125, 200,000 divided by 125, we get an answer of 1,600 for real GDP. Um, so that is a you know, slightly more complicated problem, but it's not too bad if you recall what the GDP deflator formula is and just plug in what you know and then solve for the one unknown, uh, you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.